Yeah, Council had uh, discussed this sort of workshop here two or three weeks ago. Um, Councillor Oldacre brought it up and then we uh, had some discussions of which uh, or what was the best thing to do because we want, obviously wanted the money to go to the people rather than uh, animals um, and I know there's a number of people, a number of farmers that's donating hay which is looking after animals or uh, helping to look after animals at least. We wanted to uh, look after the people and so um, we made some phone calls and then as a result of those we decided that uh, Red Cross was the uh, uh, best place to do it and the, re the reason that we picked uh, Red Cross was because 100% of the money does go to the people and we were very firm on uh, that, we didn't want money to go to uh, administration, we wanted to get to, uh, to where it's needed most. And so now the challenge uh, that Circulate Council is throwing out is that we want other councils to uh, do uh, similar if possible, at least talk about it. Uh, what Circulate Council uh, or the dollars that we came up with was uh, worked out to about 50 cents per head of population and so uh, uh, we would challenge other councils to look at um, that or something similar. I know it's up to uh, the councils but I think we do have a uh, a role to play. I know two or three years ago when we had uh, some dramatic fires here in Circle Head, we had people come coming here from the mainland and uh, the uh, Oval at uh, Stanley had uh, numerous amount of tents there and they were here for a few weeks and so we feel it's our turn now to uh, help other people out and so uh, that's why we have done it and uh, why we've gone through Red Cross. Okay, John. So, as a as a farmer yourself, um, is this was something pretty easy for you to want to support? I absolutely wanted to support it, and the reason I brought it to the table was when you see all the national media uh, and how tough some of these people are doing, and to be eighteen months and two years without any substantial rain, and even though they got some rain the other day, it was very spasmodic and. Uh, to see farmers struggling, it's not only the far farmers, but it's it's the whole community's uh, struggle because if farmers not making any money, mm. nothing's being spent, and it just shuts the whole place down, and and it's really sad when it starts to affect the little ones and all those sort of things. Mm. And it's obviously a uh, um, very different to the sort of conditions we've got here in Circular Head at the moment. I often say. Uh, you know, people in circular head, you know, if it doesn't rain for six weeks, I think they've got to drown. And I know that's a bit tongue in cheek, but it's but it's the reality of, of what we go through at different times, and we've had some pretty tough times with some flooding here just lately. But, um, you know, farmers will stick together, and we all think about mates. All right. Thank you. And so, Ian, uh, what does it mean to the Red Cross to have? Circular Head Council come on board and support the appeal. I think it's an amazing contribution from the council. I, I, I commend the council for, for their contribution. It's I think it's a reflection of of the community and the council that are here. That they, this is part of a rural community. They they feel and they hurt for other rural communities. Um, I, I certainly thank the the mayor for his comments about the fact that. They're, they're contributing to Red Cross because they know that the 100% of, of every cent donated to this cause is going to the people. Um, and I think we, we tend to get wrapped up in the, the dryness of the ground and the, the suffering of the animals. Um, and at times we forget that there are people out there that are hurting. There are people out there whose lives are being impacted every day. Um, and it's it's not just the farmer it's the farmer's families it's the farmer's friends it's the farmer's relations it's the farmer's you know, community it's the business community that John made comment about it's it's all of those people are severely impacted when when farmers are hurting um, so I think Red Cross are really saying we want to support the people we want to support those people who are vulnerable who are at risk who are suffering as a consequence of the of the drought and these sort of funds will certainly go to help contribute towards that um, and I, I endorse the mayor's comments. It's we need we need people to contribute. We need people to support it. Um, and Tasmania amazes me. Tasmania just amazes me that there are people who are willing to give um, 
Because we, we go through our tough times. We have tough times in our own state, but there, but there is this constant willingness by Tasmanians to want to give and support communities. And being led by the, by the Circular Head Council is, um, is a great example to their own community to say, look, yeah, we think about others. We think when we care and we are considerate of the needs of others. And uh, so Red Cross are very grateful for the support of the Circular Head Council. So, so how is the, the funding that you're getting through the appeal, how is that distributed to um, There's, there's to been the a, um, a relationship now established between um, Australian Red Cross and the Country Women's Association um, so that Red Cross are not the distributors of the money. We don't go and knock on people's doors. We, we recognise that there are people in our communities who are far more connected with their local communities. And so we're using the resources of the Country Women's Association to assist us with that distribution. Um, and you couldn't get a better organisation. You couldn't get a more, again, a caring, um, connected um, community groups who, who, are, who reflect the very essence of their communities, who know what their communities need and therefore are, are able to go and, and support their own people within their communities. So we're working with them um, to uh, ensure that the money gets to those people who need it uh, for the purposes that they require it. Now whether that be um, they need to help pay off some bills or they need to um, get some um, additional resources, food into their homes, whatever the case may be, um, pay school fees. Um, I think we tend again to forget about those really basic living expenses and so what, what Red Cross is doing is helping some of those farmers achieve some of those outcomes. So the farmers can concentrate on doing what, is, what they do best which is um, managing their, their farms and their properties um, and if we can support those people um, to to live their lives and to be um, a little happier, um, then that's a great outcome. And is this something that uh, th that anyone is able to uh, support? Or? Yep, certainly we, we're taking um, donations and have been through the, the Commonwealth Bank, so people can go into the Commonwealth Bank, or well, they can go online uh, to Red Cross and, and make those donations. Um, I think again, Red Cross will put a time frame on this at some stage and say, yes, this, we, we, we have to stop and we have to now look at other, other things. Because the simple reality of life is that um, whilst there's a drought in, in one part of Australia, at some stage there's going to be a flood in another. I think we're having flood warnings tomorrow in our own state. So uh, we've got to be conscious of the needs of everybody. So, um, But if this, um, if this uh, contribution from the council, as I said, makes a difference to someone's life, uh, to a family's life, to a community's life, then um, that's a positive and great outcome.